Are you worried that your rabbit is overweight? You're wondering how do you tell and, and if it is, what do you do about it exactly? That's what we're going to discuss in today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video. Again, my name's Chris, and if you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. And today we're going to talk about overweight rabbits. Now, my rabbits are not overweight, but I've had this question come up a couple of times. What do I do about it if my rabbit is overweight? There's a couple of things you can do about it, and the most notable is really just put them on a diet. I mean, that's it. Put them on a diet. But exactly what does that mean? So let's get into some details. Before I do uh, talk about what to do about an overweight rabbit, let's talk about how do you tell if your rabbit is overweight or not. Now, again, my rabbits are not overweight. Um, I've, got a couple, I've got two different breeds of rabbits here. I've got my buck over here, which is a California, and my doe with her babies over here. She is a New Zealand white. They're both very similar rabbits. Um, they're both very similar sizes. They're going to get to be about 10 pound rabbits, something like that. But you should be able to tell if your rabbit is overweight a couple of different ways. And let me open up this cage. We'll bring you in a little bit close and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, so first thing you're going to notice is that a, especially bucks, seem to look a little bit blockier than the does do. And this is a buck. So when you look at him, first glance, let's get him to move out here a little bit so we can see you. He may look a little bit on the fat side. You're going to notice that underneath his chin, he's got some extra skin hanging down. That's pretty common. That's nothing to worry about. There's a couple of signs you might be able to look at to tell if your rabbit's overweight. Without physically handling them, just watch them. If they're lethargic, if they tend to just sit in the corner and not move around a lot, um, if they end up with sore hocks, which is on the back of their feet, the back of their, um, their legs, if they end up with sore hocks there, that's a good sign that they may be a little bit overweight. So those are some things that you can look at. Biggest, or the easiest way is really just to handle your rabbit, feel. What you should be able to feel is you should be able to feel the spine of the rabbit when you run your hand down the back. You should be able to feel his spine. It should feel like um, you're running your hand over a spine that's covered with maybe a thick piece of fabric, something like that. Now, if it's real sharp and pokey, that's a sign that your rabbit is underweight. If you can't really feel it, if you have to really press hard to feel it, that is a sign that your rabbit is overweight. Same thing with his ribs. You should be able to run your hands down the sides here and feel his ribs, which I can feel his ribs. And they feel kind of like, again, they're covered with a thick piece of fabric. If I have to press really hard to feel his ribs, that's a sign that he's overweight. If they feel sharp or pokey, that's a sign that he's underweight. So, he's a good boy. He likes some attention. He's a little bit nervous right now. But uh, he's doing fine, and he's a good weight. I can feel his spine when I run my hand down his back. I don't have to press very hard, but it does not feel sharp and pokey. So he is a good weight, good, healthy rabbit. I'm going to close this cage up. We'll back this up just a little bit and talk about what to do. All right, so what do you do if your rabbit is overweight? Well, the biggest thing to do is just put them on a diet, feed them the right amount of pellets. And this really goes whether your rabbit's overweight, underweight, or just the right weight. You want to limit the number of pellets that you feed them per day. Now, they can have unlimited hay. Hay's not going to bother them. Hay's good, high-fiber diet for them. Um, but their primary diet is probably pellets, which is what I feed my rabbits. And you don't want to give them just unlimited pellets. You want to give them a limited number of pellets. My dog is... <laughs> You can't see him in the camera, but he's just running circles around the yard right now and just ran right through here. So if you saw me a little distracted, that's why. So let me get back to it. So again, you don't want to give them unlimited pellets. Now, the exception to that is like my mother rabbit here that she has babies in her cage. While she has babies and while she's nursing her young, while they're in the cage with her, they get unlimited pellets as many as they want all the time. Every other time, though, there's a limited number of pellets that they get. So how many do you give them? Well, it varies a little depending on what size rabbit you have. If we're talking about meat rabbits, though, which is primarily what I focus on, these are 10-pound rabbits. You're going to give them somewhere around three-quarters of a cup of pellets per day. It's a little bit different for each rabbit. It varies a little bit. Just like people, some of them have higher metabolisms than others. So the biggest thing to do is watch your rabbits. This is the measuring cup that I use. And use a measuring cup when you feed your rabbits so you know how much you're giving them. Don't just guess at it. This is a measuring cup I use for my rabbits. So this is a full cup. This is how many pellets they get for a day. 24 hours, this is it. Now, if I go to feed my rabbits in the morning, they've eaten all their pellets, and they just dive right into their feeder like they're starving to death, then they'll get a little bit more. So they'll get a full cup and about that much more, and that's it. 
if they haven't cleaned up their pellets from the day before, then they start getting a little bit less. So instead of a full cup, they'll get, oh, maybe three quarters of a cup, about like that. And that's how much they'll get on a daily basis. So you kind of have to, you know, a full cup full of feed, and this is about three quarters of a cup is what this holds. So about three quarters of a cup is a good starting point for that. But again, watch your rabbits and see how much they'll eat. Now, if your rabbit is grossly overweight and they're still acting like they're hungry all the time, again, you can give them full access to, to a hay. Chances are they may just be bored. They may not be hungry all the time. So you might want to throw some chew toys, uh, you know, a block of wood, a cinder block or something. See, they've chewed up their cinder, or their, uh, not cinder blocks. Don't throw a cinder block in there, sorry. A chunk of two by four, make sure it's not treated. Uh, that gives them something to chew on. Willow branches, um, you know, look it up. There's a lot of different kinds of uh, trees that are fine for rabbits to chew on. Give them something to chew on. Pine cones, anything like that. Toys for them to, to chew on and to play with a little bit because they may just be bored living in a cage and that's how they're expressing their boredom is eating. You know, people do the same thing. So rabbits will do that too. So there's a couple of things that you can do. You don't want to go overboard with the feed though. So even if I feed my rabbit, you know, let's say I give them a full cup of feed, they clean it all up, they're acting starving, so they get a full cup and about that much more, they're not getting any more than that. I'm going to give them some toys to play with, I'm going to give them unlimited hay, and that's it. That's all the rabbit pellets they get because any more than that is too much and they will overeat. Now, if you're noticing your rabbit is losing weight incredibly fast, or if your rabbit is underweight, you're feeding them the right amount of pellets all the time, and they're still underweight, and they're just not gaining weight, then that's when you might want to look at something like, do they have a parasite of some kind, a tapeworm or something like that? But that's pretty unusual, especially if you've got your rabbits in raised cages like I've got mine. It's usually not something that you have to worry about too much. Now, rabbits in a colony setting or, or something like that, it's very seldom that they're going to eat overeat and they're going to get overweight. They've got a lot of room to run around. They've got more time to exercise and those kinds of things. Usually they'll burn off those calories. But in a cage type setting, it's very important that you control the amount of pellets that you give your rabbits. You don't want them getting overweight. So hopefully this kind of helps a little bit. Um, makes sense. Leave me a comment below if you have more questions on the topic or if you need further explanation on it. But thank you so much for watching. And as always, God bless.